we've done this for years and it works really well. Now you can see these carpets are horrible. I'm gonna share with you what we use as far as products and all obtainable at your local store. And of course, it will be easy to do. Many of you don't have the option to have an extractor, of course. I love OxyClean. I love the Odor Blaster um, new one that they've come out with. I use one full scoop and you do it before you put any of the liquids in and of course it'll go right into the jug just like that. It's like an hourglass. Then we use plain old regular long, uh, dish soap and we like the Ajax. It's strong, it's a grease cutter and we love this stuff. We use the tar out of it and it smells really good as well. And in this, we put about maybe two tablespoons to four tablespoons, depending on how bad your carpeting actually is. We use any rubbing alcohol. We put about three tablespoons in. And then of course we use our window cleaner. Any window cleaner will well work. You just wanna make sure it has ammonia in it. And we use about six tablespoons of that. That's it. Now all you do is fill it up with hot water and we'll take her from there. Here we are, we've got our mixture mixed up, what I shared with you in there and the ingredients. We have a little hole in the top of the cap and you can see the OxyClean is going to town here as it's going to work inside the jug. You're going to need a small brush. And these carpets are full of sand as well. It'll dry out, don't have any worries. It's gotta get worse before it gets better. I like to spray it up here on the top and let it run down, it runs through the fibers. Look how dirty that water is, it's nasty. But this is how we do it. Because I know a lot of you do-it-yourselfers don't have extractors, you don't have all them fancy tools. This is how we started years ago. And then you can come back in a couple hours and scrub it in again. You won't need any more soap. We'll let that set and we'll come back. All right, we're going to make our own extractor now. This is homemade and it works just fine. It does the job. All you need is a cheap crevice tool from any vacuum. You can get them at garage sales or whatever you want. A piece of duct tape. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to hold it so you can get the job done. That's all we want to do. You don't have to make, we don't, a lot of people make big productions out of stuff that don't need big productions. Shop back you want. Just make sure it's a wet and dry shop vac and you take the filter, paper filter out of the inside. Only let them soak for maybe 15, 20 minutes, but look at that. This is the only way you're going to get these clean. And you may have to do it twice, but look at that dirt. But it'll look awesome, almost brand new when we're done with them. And this is the only way you get sand out of your carpets as well. It's a larger version of an extractor. Now, what you're going to need is your garden hose and your shop vac. It's gonna be a little bit noisy. And what you do is just trickle the water in like this. Don't worry, it's not gonna go anywhere. We rinse the dirt from the top down. And use a variable spray so you can adjust the spray. See it washing it down right there? Look at that sand right there, just loaded with it. And look how much cleaner it already looks. The secret is in your concoction and flooding the carpet, not giving the dirt a chance to go back down. But I'm sucking all the water out. Don't be afraid, you're not gonna hurt anything, you'll be very happy. 
Like I said, I'll do this two or three more times, but I'm not going to do any more on the video. That's it. Come back again. Take care, ladies and gentlemen.